Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the CTT signal off delay timer. And up on my screen here, we have the pages in the manual that pertain to this particular uh, unit, which gives you all the information you need in order to program the signal off delay uh, timer on our, our CTT, our counter timer tachometer multi uh, functional unit that we have. So here we have a timing chart, which is the same one that we have over on the right hand side here. And we have our description of actually what happens. And in our case here, you can see that on the, um, the, re the trailing edge of our start signal is when the timing actually starts. And it will count up to our set value and turn the output on, or sorry, turn the output off. It, the output turns on on our starting edge. And then we have our uh, reset button that will actually reset our, our counter or our timer here and reset the output. So if we look at uh, that's exactly what happens. Then we have our timing uh, wiring example so we know how to wire it up. And in our particular case here, this unit can be dip switch setting. So if we look at the dip switch, uh, we can actually set this mode into our CTT. Then we have our parameters in order to program this unit. And finally, then we have our setup or setting time units. So let's go back to our programming. And what we'll do is look at our display screen here and actually turn it into our hit and hold our mode key. When we do, we hit our function and our function is now set for timer, which is correct. That's this one right here. Our next unit is our mode, which is our up which is okay. We could also set for down and we can see the values go from our set value down to zero, but we'll leave it as up. Our next one is set for uh, our off our on delay two timer. So let's set for our, our off delay timer, signal off delay timer. So we'll just hit the up arrow key and that's all we need to do. And then hit the mode key again and that locks that in there. And you also see that we have on our diagram, this symbol here matches the one that we see on our screen as well as here. So then we have next as our timing units, we're at uh, 0 0.1 or 10 seconds. Then we look at the next one and this is our reset, 20 milliseconds, and then our PMP because we're using voltage going into this particular unit. All right, then we're back to our start again. So hitting, holding again, the mode key for three seconds brings us back to our program mode and which now we can test our unit out. So current, right now we'll turn on the start. Okay, and now we'll turn off the start. And you notice our outputs are currently on right now. So after our time expired, they should actually turn off. Um, what we'll do is we'll hit the reset, turn it on, and sure enough, that actually turned on, turn it off. Now we'll hit the start signal again, our outputs come on, turn it off, and then our timer starts timing. I will now turn on our pause, and it pauses our, our time, and then we'll turn that off again, and it continues. So after the time uh, allotted, we should actually be able to then see the outputs turn off. Now all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which to help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.